Welcome back everyone and thank you for your amazing support in watching and liking Luxury Now videos. Keep supporting and smash that subscribe button to know more top expensive and luxury items today. If you want to know more about luxury and lifestyle I've got you. And be sure to check out my previous videos. What do you guys think of a car engine on a wrist? You heard that right, introducing to you the, the Bugatti Chiron Turbolon watch by Jacob and company. When it came to the Chiron, Bugatti stopped at absolutely nothing to create the most intense automotive experience ever devised by man. With 1,500 bhp and a top speed of 300 miles per hour, its performance justified every bit of its $3.3 million price tag. So, it makes sense that a watch that bears the same name be equally as impressive. Let's take a look at the incredible Jacob and Company, Bugatti Chiron Turbolon and find out. When it comes to the price, in the spirit of the almighty supercar from which it borrows its name, the Jacob and Company, Bugatti Chiron Turbolon packs a punch with every stat. It's all about the numbers. If this thing were a top trumps card, it would be the one you'd all agree with your friends not to play because it's basically cheating. The number we'll start with is the one you need to know first if you fancy buying one. The price. Never mind the rest of it. If you can't stump up the ponies to purchase one, the closest you'll get are the pixels on your screen right now. Prices start. If you cheap out and go for the titanium version, add are you ready for it? $300,000. To be fair to Jacob and company, in the world of Bugatti, $300,000 is merely an optional extra, and that's no joke. Spec the exposed carbon fiber bodywork on your child and you'll be stumping up just 10 grand shy of the price of this watch. Sounds almost cheap when you compare it to the cost of a no-paint option. If you're looking to spend more, you certainly can, because Jacob & Company's own no-paint option comes in the form of a completely transparent, no metal sapphire case, machine from a solid block of lab-grown synthetic sapphire. Yes, that sapphire as in the stuff jewels are made from, only here it's kept free of impurities. So it is completely transparent. What will also be completely transparent will be the look on your face when you hear the price of that one. 1.3 million dollars. It's that or the front third of a real Chiron, and if you like your sapphire colored, you can get that too for the full 1.5 million dollars. That's how much the Chiron's predecessor, the Varen, cost. Would you believe if we say this watch has a cooling fan? Yes. So what can a watch with an entry price of 300,000 dollars? be packing within its 42 by 36 by 16 millimeters case. Well, slipped up inside the famous horseshoe radiator grill. Oh, yeah, the case looks just like a Bugatti Chiron, including the C-shaped side scoops, and triple exhaust crown setup is a turbolon on fan duty to keep the watch cool. Or at least, that's how I like to imagine it because the 30-degree incline of the Turbolon is reminiscent of the fans bolted to the many radiators required to keep the real Chiron's 8-liter quad-turbo W16 engine running cool as a cucumber. Like the Hummel radiator, the Turbolon was actually invented to solve a practical problem, rather than for its visual appeal. It's the heart of the watch, a sprung wheel that bounces back and forth to manage the timing of the movement, keeping it ticking accurately. But gravity plays its part in stopping that from happening, especially when watches were worn in the pocket. The balance wheel, when angled like the wheel of a car, was in a constant battle with gravitational forces. So, the Turbolon was developed to rotate the entire balance around once per minute. So gravity affected the entire mechanism equally, therefore cancelling it out. In the Bugatti Chiron Turbolon, the device goes another step further still, with a 30 degree angle to the rest of the movement. So it's always attacking gravity at an angle. That and it tucks nicely into the nose, placing the open side of this flying arrangement in good view of the lucky owner. Here's a great line for you down the pub. Does your watch have suspension? It's pretty much assert that, unless your fellow beer drinkers also own a Jacob and Company. And so, the caliber JCAM 37 finds itself suspended at all four corners with proper coilover suspension. Jacob and company may have drawn the line at making bump and rebound adjustable on the suspension, but that's far from the only part to draw engineering inspiration from the French supercar. Straddling the Turbolon are two exhaust-like pipes unsurprisingly representative of the exhaust pipes, which lead their way to the back of the vehicle or watch to the triple crown setup. You might be thinking that the Broom Broom Chiron not the Tick Tick Chiron has just one big exhaust outlet, and upon first glance, you'd think yourself right. That picks up four of the six pipes, with the other two extra ones hidden either side within the diffuser. This blows air across the aerodynamic surface, supposedly increasing rear downforce. That triple setup is mirrored right here on the Jacob & Company with three crowns. The one on the left sets the time, the middle one wins the 60-hour power reserve as seen on the power reserve indicator, and the right one well, 
we'll get onto that one in a minute. The crazy thing is that adding the suspension made connecting the crowns an engineering nightmare as they're fixed in place. To stop the crown stem snapping with the suspension compressed, they're jointed, just like the Chiron's drive shafts. But the real piece of resistance, to use Bugatti appropriate French, is what the button on the right hand crown does when you press it. First, you wind with the middle crown it wins both ways. One way for the timekeeping aspect of the movement, and the other for watches party trick, and then you press the button. That unleashes the sapphire block W16 wedge just as tightly in the back of the watch as it is in the car, with all 16 pistons turning with the crankshaft until the wind runs down. Thanks to the transparency of the sapphire, you can see every last little detail of it, and none of that $300,000 has been spared in making it look like the coolest thing on the planet. There's even a set of turbos on the side that also spin for the last degree of automotive accuracy, making sure to exhaust every last ounce of energy from the mainspring. It's less watchmaking and more mechanical art. Without straps it makes the best and probably most expensive desk toy in the entire world. To achieve all this was no mean feat. There are 578 components in this watch to make all that happen and every last one has been handcrafted to perfection. If you're looking for slim and elegant, classic and reserved, this watch is obviously not for you. If you're not looking to spend house money on a watch either, again, look elsewhere. But if you want the craziest watch in the world, the only one with a W16 engine in it, then you've only got one choice. There you have it people, the Jacob & Company Bugatti Chiron Turbolon. Thanks for watching and if you've not subscribed, please do it now as I will be sharing more top luxury items and lifestyle. Be sure to check out my previous videos and stay tuned for more.